open the Claro PDF Pro app. Once you do that, you will see a list of documents that are available. You will also see a variety of different folders. I have a folder called Claro PDF Manual. This will be the only document that you will have when you first start. This manual has quite a variety of different resources that will help you learn more about this app. I'm going to show you how to take an image from your library and turn it into a readable document. You go ahead and give it a title and tap Save. Upon doing that, you will see that there is no text on the page because it is an image. It will prompt you to uh, see if you want to use one of your credits. One credit equals one page. On the upper right hand corner you will see the wheel spinning blue. That is saying that it is working to convert the document. It requires internet access to convert the document. I like just to overwrite the current file. I don't rename it, just overwrite it so it only has one file that is now readable. Once you've converted it, you can now use it to read back to you. Once you click the play at the bottom, it will read from top to bottom. Or you can tap anywhere within the document and it will start reading from where you tapped. You will hit play and then also the square to stop. You can still use all the other features that are built into the iPad, such as select and hold to read, and then click play or click speak this. And again, to make it stop, you would go ahead and push the square at the bottom. Claro PDF Pro also allows you to annotate on top of a document by clicking the little annotation button at the top that looks like a little pencil piece of paper. You can text, you can write, you can highlight, you can even add a voice note. So this is an example how you can text and then move the text wherever you want in the document. You can also tap speak this and it will read back to the student what they typed. You can use the voice dictation to text as well just like you would in any other keyboarding app. This is an example of the highlighting tool and a variety of different ways that you can modify that highlighter. Here's an example again of the voice note. It allows you to add a voice note. When it's complete, you can listen to it. Or you can just go ahead and lock it using the little button in the upper left hand corner. If you tap on the expand screen, it'll expand it to a whole blacked out screen, but then you can make it small again. If you want to move that note out of the way, you would unlock it, move it out of the way, and then you can lock it back up again. That way nobody can delete it unless you unlock it. You can also upload or insert an image from your photos, crop that image, put it within the document, and even draw arrows and add labels to that image. If a student needs to submit this document back to their teacher, they will go ahead and push the share or send to icon in the upper right hand corner. And then they get to choose how they want to share that. They can share it airdrop, mail, message, or they can even go in and share it by clicking the three dots or more, scrolling down and finding copy to Schoology. Now if it's a document that they're turning in for assignment, then they could post it uh, to submit as an assignment or add to a file folder. You can also submit it to Google Drive. and then again finding the folder that you want to upload it up into. The students can arrange and organize their, their uh, documents into folders, but what I'd highly recommend 
if you like this app to explore it further and check out the user manual because there are a lot of features packed into this one little app.